today i am joined by uh, dr suchita ella the co-founder and managing director of bharat biotech so i'm uh, an mu sign today so what was uh, it all about what is the purpose okay uh, the purpose is very simple we are an innovation driven company we wish to build on platforms technologies and uh, solutions affordable solutions uh, when it comes to healthcare uh, because that is the very uh, dna of our company is to innovate and bring about new technologies and new affordable vaccines and other products so we see that this is a larger than india perspective in terms of how we need to be prepared to develop that kind of knowledge and information for us in this country as well so that we can serve our own country's requirements going forward uh, in the life sciences sector uh, in addition to that we also uh, keep looking at what the world requires and i think india's role today is very clear it's been demonstrated over and over again especially even in the last 2 to 3 years our pharmaceuticals our vaccines and all our you know other interventions that that we have been able to provide to the uh, to maybe 150 other countries in the world is something phenomenal that i think we have uh, uh, you know a huge uh, uh, plus on our side but having said that that may not be sufficient and we need to be looking at 10 years down the line and 20 years down the line to build these technologies and uh, uh, probable solutions whether it is agriculture whether it is veterinary sciences whether it is medical uh, you know sciences human medical sciences or biotechnology for other organisms and so on and so forth but i think it's very important that we need to look at a larger picture primarily it will start looking in the health areas of new interventions and new solutions new products new services that will be uh, collaboratively developed between wisconsin and uh, our ella foundation in a, in a partnership model but definitely it is going to be not for uh, it will be for a common good for a universal uh, kind of platforms which will be applicable to many many countries across the world and uh, for us to be ahead of that curve is very important uh, for a country and uh, for ourselves is very important in terms of the uh, um, uh, in terms of our numbers in terms of our agricultural commodities that we have in terms of the livestock and the animals that are there in the farming and other sectors uh, where we are very heavily and I mean livestock dependent so i think uh, all these uh, areas of life sciences is a very very important uh, uh, area for us to focus and think for the future work for the future and keep uh, information and resources available so that they can be deployed at you know if and when required when when the calamity hits us uh, it is tough at that point of time to go and scratch for information mm -hmm. and look for uh, solutions so this is like kind of a long term process for us as a company to have been associated ella foundation has been with us since 20 years uh, we do a lot of independent research in that it's a section 25 company uh, and uh, many young students register they do their phd's and their masters also you have kind of mentioned some some breakthroughs that ella foundation is for ella foundation coop uh, does lot it can work for any organization that has any kind of a, a requirement in terms of how uh, they want to uh, bring in a process or a particular product or anything like that they have worked in uh, international uh, areas with polio trying to find alternative ways of making effective uh, solutions for polio vaccines and other so there are many areas where ella foundation pitches in and uh, chips in as process interventions it is not just product at times because it is the background of a product there are hundreds of processes which are biotechnology based so these are all the interventions that ella foundation brings to the you know table and many organizations can uh, you know they can um, also use it if it is of use to their processes so these are uh, very very 
um, uh, you know, these are very specific to the process that that a particular product of a particular product that is that it required. So that can be uh, done. Like even I think for the uh, for when we had to develop Covaxin. You asked for an example, so I'm saying it, which is now the most current thing in all in all our minds. Uh, for Covaxin also, Ella Foundation has given their, we have used the services of Ella Foundation, though it is an internal group company, but still we have engaged them as professional uh, partners so that they can also, uh, they can bring in certain areas of expertise and bring those, do that particular work so that we as an organization are not diverted into those areas. So research and development is a very big uh, space for us in the company, but sometimes we ourselves cannot do everything. So that is why we partner with multiple academic research institutes like NIV Pune, we had partnered. We partnered with all the 25, 30 medical institutions for the clinical research. And Ella Foundation is one such organization which can also bring about interventions in the research areas of building that product. Mm -hmm. So even in Covaxin, that was demonstrated yes, so by us. Mentioned, mentioned Covaxin after vaccinating millions of Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, so Harvard finally launched intranasal uh, vaccine. Mm -hmm. So how is how intranasal? Is yes. Intranasal. So what, We've is, just launched it. It was a. It was a because 26 Feb. Uh, I mean January. This was something very symbolic for us. So it has been launched, and the license was just received by us in the last week of January. It is going to be sent, it is on the Coven portal already and it, the product will be available at the public, uh, at, I'm sorry, at the private hospitals uh, for people to go and uh, procure from and uh, vaccinate. So has, has the company uh, shipped any consignment? Yes, we will start shipping out now because that's what we had also mentioned that it is in February that we are going to start actually shipping out the um, you know the material and to, in, to different hospitals the hospitals will buy from us they will put in their request indent for the quantities that they want has, has the company received any demand from foreign countries or it is up to that see the foreign countries asking is when if their regulatory system approves it so that is a process by itself so if they want and if they feel that it is something that their country will take up for their immunization based on india's approval national regulatory for india has approved it but if some other country wants it then if they have they are and this accept our regulatory system and our processes and our data then they will definitely come and uh, you know like they did for covaxin itself yes. so they will definitely ask for it okay. yes so this is the last question ma'am since we talked about entrepreneurship and women in the culture the culture uh, for women in the industry so <clears throat> you also talked about when you uh, uh, came from US and how the environment and the environment has changed you said. So how, how do you see the environment has changed over the year for entrepreneurs and what is the message for, for emerging young entrepreneurs, particularly women? Well, like I said, you know, when 30 years ago, I, we were struggling for funding, yeah. financing, you know, like um, uh, easy funding was not available. The nationalized banks were the only source of funding. Private funding was not available at all. And even venture capital funding was very limited in that sense, maybe only to IT and certain sectors. But when it came to life sciences and biotechnology specifically, there was no funding available. Uh, we did, of course, get some funds from the government of India, in fact. Uh, from the Technology Development Board because they were giving funding for projects which had a commercial product which was ready to be, uh, you know, commercialized. Mm. So that was a, like a soft loan from a, but it's a small component. Mm. But today, I think the that whole, uh, you know, the financial, the way the financial services environment has changed in this country is known to all. There is that many international funds have come in. Uh, in private equity, in the secondary markets, I'm talking about the private banks have come in, which are very large, uh, that they have their own funds that they can deploy for venture capital. Very large private sector banks are there, which are already engaged in funding new projects and startups and all that. So I think especially in the technology uh, area. So the, the, there's a sh big shift in terms of, that's why I said funding is now not an issue. But I think it's the, it's how we build entrepreneurship and how we 
make women and men get take on to entrepreneurship. I think that's the crux and that's where we need to focus for the next 25 years. Yes. I think do, that's do important. See, do you see ma'am the Prime Minister Modi, uh, Modi should be created for bringing this uh, change for the better? See, I think it's a work in progress. It is always something that, uh, like when I came to India, it, India was at 50. Mm -hmm. So we were all looking for an India at 75 at that point of time. So I think it is a continuous process. Of, in the last, maybe in a decade now, there, are, there have been a lot many more changes that we, we have definitely witnessed. Um, but that's also important because if we don't change, then yeah. we will be forgotten. Yeah. And we have to re be on par with the rest of the world in that sense. And today when, with the G20, you know, being at the presidency of the G20, I think it's very appropriate that we need to be abreast in terms of our policies with the rest of the biggest nations in the world. So it's very imperative that India um, leap, I mean, reaches that uh, level. It's very important. And it's the time is right, of course.